Hello, this is Jake, and today you join me. I'm going to be driving this lovely Abarth 595 for probably, not, well, might be the last time, we'll see. Um, I've got the car up for sale now, so I can get my dream car. Um, so this car is actually for sale right now, so I don't want to put the mileage up on it. I'm only popping to the charity shop, which is just down the road. I probably would have walked. However, it's a big box of books, and I can't carry that that far anyway. So I've got to hopefully park right up outside and unload that. Um, but I've finally, finally sorted the clock out. Let me show you. Um, so yes, the clock is sorted. So if you remember, um, I had lost the fuel gauge. The numbers had started playing up and everything. It was a real pain. Um, and I thought, oh no, electrical problem in the bath, not good. Um, so I was a bit, you know, worried because I knew I'd be selling the car. I took it to my um, friend's garage. He plugged his uh, electronic system into it and it tells you, you know, you know what's wrong with the car. Um, and he, he manually controlled the dash and put everything on. So all the lights, all the numbers, everything. So all of this lit up. But the mileage down here didn't light up, it was distorted. So he said, he recommended that I buy a new clock. So that's what I done. I bought the entire cluster. So this entire piece here, the glass and everything, that I bought um, 160 pound off eBay. Not too bad. I actually got money knocked off it because the screen came and the screen had a massive scratch down here, like someone had hit it. And um, as soon as we got out of the packaging in the house, I noticed it and I, I messaged the seller and everything. We got it all sorted out. I had a partial refund, so that's great. And what I done, I just took the glass off my original one, what was damaged. Uh, well, because the clock didn't work, but the glass was fine. So I just took that off and we got that sorted, no problem. And it's, it's like having a brand new, um, cluster now So all I had to do to remove that was you got some, I don't know if you see them that well, but you got the plastic down here right under the wheel. There's two screws there. You remove them. Then you have access to this one here, that one there. And again, there's two screws. You have to get one here and one the other side. Once they come out, you have access to the screws to the clock cover here, this piece and they're a star allen key so one that one that side that pops off and then you have access to the actual cluster inside um, and again that's four bolts you just remove them and that'll come out and there's a plug on the back you take the plug off put the plug in a new one sorted that's what you have to do for that um, it took us i don't know half an hour to get sorted um, two of us doing it so yeah it wasn't too bad at all um, it's quite an easy job actually and it's good that I didn't have, didn't have to take the car to a garage because obviously it would cost a lot more to have done. So yeah, this is going to be my last drive in the, um, the bath for now. I don't plan to take it anywhere else. Um, I just have to use it to get rid of these books really because like I said, they're too heavy to be carrying um, and it's too far. So I'll take them today. But the Abarth is up for sale on eBay um, and Facebook and all of that. So hopefully I'll get rid of it quite soon and I can go and buy my dream car. A car that I've wanted since 1997. So yeah, should be pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I'll put the windows down in a sec and we show a driver up road up here and you should hear it very nice and crisp because it's cold morning um 
Not much has really been happening, to be honest. I've been quite bored over the last few days. I sold my all of my modern railway stuff, and that's a big deal for me because that's you know 22 years of building modern railways. I got a large collection and everything, so yeah, it was quite a big deal. Right, let's put the window down. Sally a bath, but I knew if I was to Sally a bath, I would have to, um, I would have to give um, an obby. I got many obbies, model railways, RC stuff, and everything. The model railways thing is, you know, it's the most expensive obby. Um, and when you've been collecting for 22 years, you can imagine the amount of stuff I had picked up. Um, so it was it's a decision that I made, and I don't regret it at all. A lot of people thought it was crazy because they know how much time and effort I put into it. But yeah, now that's gone, it means I can buy a dream car, a car that I've wanted since 97. So I can't wait to share that car with you. As soon as I fight, I, there's two on man now that I'm looking at and I want to buy, but I can't buy it yet because the embark got go first. So yeah, you'll see it soon and don't worry, there'll be plenty of videos on it. Um, and I can't wait, I just really can't wait. And it's a completely different car to the bar, I'll tell you that now. Um, it's an old car, they went right up to about 2004, 2005. Um, so, it's kind of a classic in a way. So, we'll go to a charity shop, drop these books off. Um, at some point, I'll have to give you a tour of my new room. I've had a chill room done, and a lot of the videos will start off in that room um, because it's, it's a room done to put pictures of my cars up and everything, have a lot of my models up. Um, I do collect a lot of model cars, so I've got quite a collection now, um, and it'd be nice to give you a tour of that room at some point. So I'm back now. Um, charity shop was very happy with the model railway books it was actually more than i thought um so yeah but they got them they're happy with them uh which is great um i do have another crate but i'll probably take that to a different charity shop just because they got a load now um but it's great you know they can have the books i don't need them anymore i don't like chucking stuff out like that i mean yes they are most of those books are recyclable ones uh magazines for the last five years but Someone else can make use of them, um, so that's good. So, yeah, your bath's going. Um, I'm going to end this video here. It's only a short video today, just because I wanted to get this clock sorted, make sure um, I'd done the video on this one, because there was another person on um, YouTube who had the same problem. So, I wanted to get that sorted. Um, don't leave the keys in the car. So yeah, I got it sorted and that's the main thing. Um, and yeah, 30 minutes, you can get it sorted. Uh, it'd be good to have someone with you, I'll help you out with that as well. Um, there's my brother's. That's his Fiat Pop with the Abarth body kit on. We've still got to put the skirts on, so that will be coming to the channel at some point. Um, other than that, the Fiat's gone, like I was done in the last video, I told you the Fiat was uh, sewed. Someone's got to turn it into a Cosworth race car, which is pretty mad. Uh, there's a bike that at the moment. Um, if you want to see bikes on the channel, you do let me know. Because there's quite a few bikes here. Um, my dad and brother, that's, they'll all be ready. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Please give me a like, please subscribe. I shall see you soon. Hopefully, the new car will be here soon. And some of you will like that. It's a shame that I'll be leaving the Bath community. Have I been... I had a bath for about six months, five months, um, so I will be leaving the Abarth community, which is a shame, but joining another community, which is going to be great. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.